strange man in a tall hat. I just hope that armadillo epidemic doesn't spread to us. Well, there's some bad sickness going around out west, as if it wasn't hard enough surviving out there. The man brings me my Jolly Jacks, said there's towns out west got plagues running straight through them. You know Armadillo, that town that had the scarlet fever outbreak a few years back? Well, apparently now the place is riddled with cholera. That town armadillo must be cursed. A few years ago, scarlet fever. Now cholera. First scarlet fever a few years back. Now cholera. Might as well shut armadillo down for good if you ask me. They should just mercy kill everyone's left in armadillo if you ask me. Clean slate. That cholera outbreak in armadillo don't show no signs of improvement. Those poor folk in armadillo got it bad. I still remember that scarlet fever outbreak they had there in 99. I wouldn't go anywhere near Armadillo if I was you. Whole town's riddled with plague. This town's gonna flourish, I promise. Just need to keep that Armadillo plague out of here. friend. If you're in New Austin, I'd stay well away from the town of Armadillo if I was you. Place is overrun with cholera. They've taken to burning the bodies because they can't bury them fast enough. Used to be a decent town too. Nice people. Damn shame. Just shows you can never take your health for granted. Okay. This is it. Place is unwell. Here you go, friend. Plague! We got plague in town. Plague back in town. Hey, mister. Hey, friend. Place is full of cholera. Head in there at your own peril. Well, half the town has died, and most of the rest have fled. Still? Sure. A few years ago, it was the scarlet fever. Then it was the desert plague. Then typhus. Now the cholera. Bad business. Some folks say the whole town is cursed. All towns got cholera! Here, you can read for yourself. Thank you.
Howdy, mister. Keep back. You got that sickness, huh? <sighs> Should have got out of here sooner. Take care of yourself. I thought the Scarlet Fever in 99 was bad, but this cholera is gonna take all of us with it. I heard yowling from the burn pile. Pretty sure the Northridge girl was still... I hope I'm wrong. I can't remember the last time I slept. <coughs> Just when I stop coughing long enough to sleep, Henry starts up. I saw <coughs> some kids coming out of the saloon. They said they wanted to try whiskey before they died. I was getting better. I was. And then saw all the blood on my sheets. I don't know where it came from. I must have sores on my, my back now. Keep your distance, friend. These bodies ain't safe to be around. Oh. What's wrong with them? Aside from being dead. You ain't heard about the cholera plague in Armadillo? Most of the towns either died or up and left. So, why are you burning them? It's what the town folk want. Trying to stop the spread. Terrible business. Lucrative, I have to say. All of you, get out! If you stay! Sickness is gonna get you! Come on, let's go! Honey, honey, someone's coming! Look! Okay, well, I think that should do it. Let's go. We're leaving town. There's a cholera <laughs> epidemic. I suggest you do the same. Oh, come on. Well, huh. Good luck to you. And you, sir. Stay clear of town. Safe travels. Thank you. Yeah. We're in a hurry, sorry. Did you feed the horses? Yeah, yeah, I told you I did. And we have enough food and water for the journey. Clean water. Yeah, we got everything we need. If we don't, we'll just get it. Just calm down. I can't believe we're leaving everything behind. Just sit back and try to relax. We have a long ride ahead. Oh, oh, hey, mister. I'd keep my distance out with you. Cholera, spreading fast. <clears throat> Smart move is move right on through town. Don't look back. But, you do what you want. Oh, uh, well, yeah, you can rob me if you really want. I mean, that's fine, I guess. Sure. What are you doing there, anyway? I'm taking them graveside that's on the other side of town. Y'all got enough room back there? <laughs> At least y'all ain't off to be burned at coots, that's for sure. <laughs> okay, whoa there. Here we are.
of the day. Woo! Well, good luck to you. You as well, partner. Hey, take that mask off while you're in here. Listen, we don't need any fuss. You just take that mask off, all right? Whoa, why don't you want folks seeing your face? Not a lot of good comes from someone in a mask. Uh, how about you take it off for me? Too late for that. Mask ain't gonna save you now. That won't help much with dust around here. It gets through everything. Good idea. Keep the dust out of your face. Are you covering up because of the plague here? I'm too late for that. <laughs> too late for a mask, friend. You breathed in plenty already. Plague! Devil has the place in his grip. Here's your whiskey. Beer and whiskey's about the only thing left that's safe to drink in this town. I should warn you, I'm sick, but so is pretty much everyone else around here. Apart from that bitch who runs the general store. That might be the cruelest irony of them all. Cholera's a horrible business, mister. I wouldn't stay around here any longer than you need to. Especially if you got loved ones expecting you home. Anyway, sorry to be a misery, friend. A few more drinks and I'll have a smile on my face again. I don't think I've seen you before, pard. Pomade and soap next to my counter if you're trying to woo one of them diseased folk out there. Pair that with a cigar in the corner, and you're all set. Strange thing is, Herbert Moon, you know he has the store in Armadillo? seems to be entirely unaffected by that cholera outbreak. Another day and Mr. Moon still doesn't have so much as a cough. Well, here's to hoping. See that no good Herbert Moon? Caught him moving a corpse out of the street by hand. A day later, he's fine as if nothing happened. You hear about Moon? That bastard's just strolling around town looking fresher than a daisy. Something made right with that one. Surprised you ain't blown on through. Ain't Some much reason to stay. In houses I don't know. Found a For the sickness to have spread as fast as it did here, and with such mortality, I can't but think there must be more to it. And the thing is, as we've all been taken down one by one, that shopkeeper, Herbert Moon, ain't had so much as a cough. Now how does that happen? And the way he looks at us, <clears throat> all superior, Something ain't right about all this. Stay away. Old man Moon was in here yesterday. Just sitting right over there looking smug as all hell, son of a bitch. I swear that Herbert Moon is actually enjoying all this. Be town! Herb 
good moon tried to charge me twice for bread. He said he miscounted, but I know he did it on purpose. That bastard Herbert Moon's been telling folk they deserve the sickness, that they're being punished for their sins. Old Herbert Moon ain't been affected at all by this calamity. He claims only the impure are taken by it. Stay away! Sickness is gonna get you! All this sickness never existed before it became a free-for-all at the border. Howdy, mister. Everything here is proudly made right here in the USA. First it was scarlet fever, now cholera. And we know where it came from. They closed that border too late. Damn foreigners are trying to bring every disease in creation to Armadillo. My asthma about town is slow in sales. First, they bring some foreign disease with them, then they don't buy anything. Look at me, completely healthy. Do you know why? Because I'm of pure, unmixed bloodline. It's so obvious. <laughs> I was right about this. I was told that those with weak genes are most susceptible to the cholera outbreak, which probably explains why I'm as fit as a fiddle. Now how is Herbert Moon not affected by any of this? And don't tell me it's his superior genes. It ain't just a plague, there's something else going on here. I tell you, the devil could raise this town, and I still reckon Herbert goddamn Moon would still be sleeping soundly. Way! What's your secret, Herbert Moon? Damn it, I wanna know! The place is cursed! People here reckon there's a curse on them? Well, maybe they're right. I've made a deal with the devil. I will never truly die. I see a strange man in a tall hat. He frightens me. So, not sure you passed through Armadillo at all. <laughs> Place like hell on earth these days. Used to be quite a nice little town, too. Now it's just dust storms and disease and death. They taken the burning bodies because they can't bury them fast enough. I mean, when you see it, it really feels like something biblical. <laughs> and I ain't a religious man. Yep. Really, it's a sight to behold. I certainly ain't never read the Bible on account of me not reading and all, but for a place to turn like that, so bad and so fast, you can't help but thinking. This can't be of natural causes. Folk there are calling it a curse. And I ain't a superstitious man, but it's hard not to see it any other way. They are saying this figure appears sometimes there in the distance. 
black suit and big top hat, then disappears, shadowy, like he ain't of this mortal realm. Uh-huh. The Reaper and his Sunday best. Maybe they're being punished uh, for sins or something, I don't know. I got enough sins on my tally to figure I'm gonna stay well away from there. And I ain't a betting man, but I put my money on this. Way things are, won't be long before Tumbleweed is the only town left in these parts, and there won't be nothing in Armadillo but ghosts. Buy something or go. I've got things to do later. All kinds of ammunition on the other side of the shop and other knickknacks on the wall next to it. I don't remember what they all are. Have a look for yourself or in the catalog here. Who's that? Uh, I don't know. It's just a little portrait somebody gave me once. I always quite liked it. Why? No reason. Just seemed familiar. Anyway. Hello, John. John Marston. Wish I'd had better guidance. A friend of mine is drunk as a skunk in the saloon on Thieves' Landing. I think he's gonna be unfaithful to his dear wife. Why don't you head over there and see if you can advise him how best to proceed. Anyway, I hear that an old nun is traveling from the monastery, taking the money she raised to the bank. Why don't you head up there and see if you can lend her a hand? Road's full of thieves. Either that or rob her yourself. Thing or go. I've got things to do. Hey, mister. Hey, pard. You seen a couple of deputies nearby? Marshall's boys, Jonah and Eli. Are they Jews, mister? They sound like Jews. I don't know. Why? Well, I don't like Jews. Or colored folk. Or natives, now that you mention it. Why? What are you talking about? Why? <laughs> I bet you like Catholics. I can't stand them neither. Nor women. Fabians, socialists, homosexuals, Asians, or British. Have you ever met a Jewish person? <laughs> Thankfully not. Yep. You, sir, are truly a remarkable fella. Thank you kindly.
Here it is, the 20th century, and the name Herbert Moon means less than it did 20 years ago. The miasma about town is slow in sales. First, they bring some foreign disease with them, then they don't buy anything. Buying anything here will truly help return the American working man to his formerly exalted position. Sure. What are you doing here? My accounts. I'm an accountant. Is that so? In a way. <laughs> Reaper and his Sunday best. Shipment of American-made goods. Can I get one of those? Another? Well, sure. That one there. That's some great stuff there. Thanks. Bye now. Be seeing you. Bye. That man there's a real bastard. I can't barely believe this fall. Yeah. This place gets closer to hell every day. Yep. That's some great stuff there. Bastard! 
Mr. and Herbert Moon's been telling folk they deserve the sickness, that they're being punished for their sins. Old man Moon was in here looking smug as all hell, son of a bitch. I swear that Herbert Moon is actually enjoying all this. Herbert Moon? He's blaming the Mexicans or the blacks. Some made right with that one. I'm sick, but so is pretty much everyone else around here. Apart from that bitch who runs the general store. That might be the cruelest irony of them all. Please! I don't deserve this! You'll see me again, don't worry about that. Something wicked this way comes. <laughs> you shot me pretty good. <laughs>